Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing a few of my July favorites with you guys, so let's get started. I feel like everyone has those spots where you just have crazy pores that do like some weird things. Like right here on my nose, I get really bad whiteheads and on my chin as well. So for me, I like to combat that before I put on makeup. And most of the time, I will use this. This is the Freeman Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. When I was back in Orlando, I had like really dry skin around my nose for some reason one time. And Laura actually introduced me to this mask, so I used it and it was immediately gone. Plus, all my whiteheads were not nearly as noticeable as they were, so I decided to go ahead and buy it. And I'm so glad that I did because I love using this before I put on any makeup. I think it's important to nail your skincare routine down first before you nitpick anything in your makeup routine. So my skin's really sensitive and this is a scrub and it doesn't get irritated or anything, so I highly recommend it for anyone with the same problem areas that I have. Next is a face cream. I feel like every favorites video is because I don't do them very often. I have a new favorite face cream, which isn't surprising because it's very rare that I stick to one face cream, but this is my favorite of July. This is the L'Occitane Comforting Cream. It almost reminds me of Pond's face cream, but I think this one is a lot less watery than Pond's. I used to be into like the gel-based moisturizers, but I kind of got over that. Like I just realized that since my skin is really dry, I just really need to use like actual cream on my face and going back to having like a really good base for makeup I really think this helps me out because again my skin's so dry that if I put on makeup sometimes you can see the dryness like around my lips or just like around my eyelids too so this product has really been helping with that next is another L'Occitane product this is the shower oil with almond oil I actually recently just got into these products at the beginning of the summer I saw an ad for like this type of product and the ad quickly sold me on it because because sometimes I'm lazy when I get out of the shower maybe I don't want to moisturize this makes it really easy to do it in the shower maybe while your conditioner is sitting in you can put this on the other product that I had was a cream already Ready, so I feel like it didn't really keep me that moisturized but since this is an oil like I feel like it just stays on a little better like the moisturizing part when I get out of the shower I usually use like coconut oil or like baby oil because I feel like it just sinks into my skin and gives me like a really nice glow and cream doesn't really give me that glow if that makes sense but this is so cool because when you put it in your hands and rub it together it actually like forms a cream consistency um, and it smells really really good so I recommend checking this out or just like any of these moisturizing in the shower type products I think they're super cool and <laughs> definitely a game changer for me next up is hair care I know you guys have been commenting asking me for a hair routine and I want to put it out for you guys, but I just started trying these new products like, I don't know, three weeks ago or something. So I just wanted to solidify that routine before I do that. But these are definitely in my July favorites. This is from Lanza. It's the Keratin Healing Oil. It's the Silken Shampoo and Silken Conditioner. I never really realized like a big difference in like using different shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that, but these holy they make my hair feel so soft like never before like right when i get out of the shower when it dries like three days after you can tell like a difference in my hair that it's just so much softer than it used to be i thought my hair was like you know not like coarse and i didn't think it was not soft but having these actually made me realize that you know my hair did need some work i did do a pure unboxing with these so i did get these sent to me and obviously i do love to try out everything i get but i'm not being paid to say this just so you guys know, I really, really think that these are so awesome. And I'm definitely going to be sad when it gets low, but I'll have to look into repurchasing these. Next for makeup, I wanted to share my newest staple in my makeup collection. This is a blush from Ofra Cosmetics in the color Raisin. This has definitely been on like my list of makeup to buy, but I was actually lucky to be sent this from Ofra. Literally, this is my new obsession. I think it's really important to find a blush that complements your skin tone. And I really think this one does it for me. It kind of just makes my contour and bronzer pop when I put it on. And it just brings like the whole look together. Then I have two lip products that I have been loving. So I talked about this one on my Instagram story. But this is the Elizabeth Arden Lip Gelato. Which first of all, that's a really cool name. Second of all, it has like the coolest packaging ever. Like you push this like little thing up and it just like comes out. I don't know, I just think that's really cool. This is in the color Bear Kiss. When I saw its name, I thought it was gonna be another nude that wouldn't fit my skin, 
but I was definitely wrong. It's like a pinky nude and I'm not like super into pinky nudes, but this one complements my natural lip color and it's super moisturizing. You guys can probably guess the second one. It is Cork from Dose of Colors and this is the most perfect brown ever, like ever. And the formula is beautiful. It doesn't make my lips crumbly at all. And the packaging is so like minimal. Like this part is like clear, but it's just matte. So it just looks like sleek. I should have a video coming up talking about all the lip products that I did get from Dose of Colors. I got four, so that's not too many, but I did want to just swatch them on my lips for you guys. In case anyone is the same skin color as me and wanted to see them on my lips, or just hearing about the formula and the colors I got. Next is Nail Care. So I always thought OPI was so expensive and like kind of like out of my league, and I felt like I could find like dupes for like a way lower price. But this color is the exact same color I literally always tend to pick at the nail salon when I go. It's in the color Do You Take Layaway, and it's such a cool color because it's like a light pink, but it's like a cool toned light pink. I don't really know how to explain it, but I love it against my skin tone. So I kind of caved in and bought it for myself. And ever since then, I haven't really gone to the nail salon to get my nails done. And if I do, I will literally bring my own because I don't know, I'm just weird like that. So this is not only my July favorite, but like forever favorite. <laughs> this next nail polish is a life changer. Like, oh my God, I cannot even express to you guys how lucky I am to Finally found the solution to all my nail polish problems. I'm so impatient like whenever I'm at the nail salon or just doing my own nails I feel like it takes me literally like maybe two to three hours just because I have to let them dry fully Before I do anything else which is so hard for me because I always want to text someone or Do something on my computer and I end up messing up a nail, but this has literally changed the game This is called such beat dry fast top coat and when it says fast drying, like holy crap guys. When I apply this, it dries my nails under 10 minutes. And after like 15 to 20 minutes, you can do anything because it's fully dry. Sometimes when you're at the nail salon and you go home and you think your nails dry, but it's actually like that like rubbery consistency and like you hit it on something and it just messes it all up. You don't have to worry about that with this top coat. It like literally dries it fully in like under 20 minutes. This product has definitely saved me a lot of time. So next is fashion favorites. So around the middle of the summer, I actually uploaded a Boohoo haul. I got so much from Boohoo because they have 50% off like almost every day and I just found out about this. Plus if anyone is like sketched out by their website and like wondering if the quality is good or not, be sure to check out that video and like you can see how amazing the quality of these clothes are. But in that video I actually just showed the clothes and not all the jewelry I got. So these have definitely been a favorite but these are hexagon earrings and they are pretty big. Whenever I wear them, I feel like Khloe Kardashian or like JLo or something. And I always get so many compliments on these earrings. So yes, they are from Boohoo and the link will be in the description below. These earrings make any outfit look so much more trendy. I used to wear hoops like every single day in elementary school. I would literally sleep in my hoops. Like, let me know how I did that. I don't even know. But I think it's really cool that the hoops trend has been back in style. I actually just wore it in this Instagram picture right here. And as you can see, it just adds like so much to the picture. So another fashion favorite is shoes. This is like a mix of like two trends, like clogs and chunky heels, which I thought was really cool. And these are by the brand Sam Edelman. When I was in Orlando this summer, I went to like a thrift store. It's right next to Plato's Closet. It's called Style Encore. I think that's what it's called or style for less. I'm not really sure, but it's basically like Plato's Closet Sister just for like older women. And I saw these in the window and I was like, Ryan, should I get them? Should I do it? And I was telling Ryan, if these are an eight, like it is fate, I have to get them. And of course they were my size, so I couldn't really pass them up. I think they were like under 30, but having a platform and chunky heel just makes them that much more comfortable. And I think these shoes are such a great summer shoe because they match with a lot of floral and a lot of bright summery colors. The last favorite I have is a TV show favorite. I have been obsessing over Jane the Virgin. I think it like started last summer where my sister kind of convinced me to watch it on Hulu or Netflix, I can't really remember which one. So I literally binge watched two seasons that summer and I was definitely ready for the third one to come out on Netflix, especially for those types of shows where it just leaves you with that crazy cliffhanger. 
I can't wait a whole week to see what happens. So I like watching it on like platforms like Netflix and Hulu. It gives you the ability to binge watch them. They just put out season three on Netflix. I'm trying to take it as slow as possible because whenever I do sit down and watch it, I'll watch like three episodes or more. It literally is so hard to stop because it's so addicting. Let me know if you guys have watched Jane the Virgin, if you love it or you hate it, definitely tell me in the comments down below. That is it of my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>